today we're gonna make a Halloween cup. Um, it's I've already prepped and painted my 30 ounce skinny white. Uh, we're gonna use glow glitter so it glows. And it's going to be um, a temp it's gonna be a temporary tattoo cup. And I'm gonna use this one that I got off of Amazon, which is from Nightmare Before Christmas. So um, I'm going to apply the glitter with the hang method. I'm gonna mix up my um, epoxy and get started. Okay, so we're going to put this tattoo on our tumbler. The tumbler um, has glow in the dark glitter on it and uh, it's got two coats of faux rose on it. So you see like that purple sparkle, it's just in the glitter. There's some spots on here, like here and here that I wasn't very concerned about just because of the fact that this has so much dark on it and I'm going to um, kind of blended in with alcohol ink that I wasn't very concerned about that. So they don't have to be super perfect, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I want to see how much of these, this tattoo I want to put on each side. And um, to do that, the best way to do it, I don't take the plastic off of this um, temporary tattoo until I kind of know what I want to do with it. So the best way to kind of do that is to hold it up you can feel the top and the bottom. And so this is the top and this is the bottom, but then you see how much is left at the bottom. So if I put this here, you know, do I want more at the top of this one or am I good with that? So I actually am gonna probably cut, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut like pretty much halfway. Like I'm gonna cut right here so that I can maneuver it. I can have this full arch without it being cut off the top and this bottom will pretty much go to the bottom. Um, and this is like, depending on the size cup you're working on, depends on how you're gonna have to cut it. When I do tattoos on a 30 ounce um, modern curve that are the same size. So when you do a 30 ounce modern curve that are the same size, it goes all the way top to bottom because they're longer. The tattoo is longer than the cup halfway. And then I just kind of blend it with some alcohol ink to kind of blend it in. But they fit best on these guys. Um, so I just wanted to do it on a skinny because I don't know, that's what I wanted. So I'm just gonna cut it. Boom. All right. Now, these go on legit just like a temporary tattoo. So you take the plastic off. I'm gonna cut this top part off just so that I can maneuver it a little bit better because this is a little thicker. So this top part right here, because I don't want that. And I get these off Amazon. You can actually buy them by the dozen on Amazon, which is kind of cool. So if you're afraid of messing it up and you want more, I think they have like four packs, six packs, and 12 packs. Then I have my paper towel. And whoop. Sorry about that. Okay. So I have my paper towel and my water. Temporary tattoo and cup. So I'm gonna wet. Let me move this out of the way for a moment. I am going to wet my paper towel and I'm going to wet my cup. I'm doing this at a weird angle so you guys can see it. Um, I'm gonna get it nice and wet. And this bad boy is nice and wet. It's just like putting a tattoo on your kid. So I'm gonna take it and you're gonna be able to see through the back of it. I'm gonna away from this wall a little bit. You're going to be able to see through the back of it, which is very helpful. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to line up my top where I want it to be. You only get one shot with these. If you don't do it right, you will not be able to do it again. I push down on the, oh, see, like I got a wrinkle in it, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of try to smooth it out. I'm going to push down in the middle, keep wetting my thing and just keep pushing just like you would a regular temporary tattoo it 
it's not like a water slide like you're not gonna be able to move it when it's done that's why it's kind of nice to be able to order extras if there is if there's a design that you like because once you put it on it's on like there's no maneuvering it the paper is going to slide right off the back and then your image is there so let's see and take the image off we have a piece that's sticking oh i have a whole dry spot so i have a whole dry spot so i'm gonna take it and just on a really bad angle to shake my whole craft table I'm very hulk smash if you haven't noticed And peel it off and there it is so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna put this my legs back down for a minute I'm gonna take my wet paper towel I'm gonna wet it some more and I'm just gonna kind of try to smooth it it's not really gonna move but you can smooth out a little bit of it if there's like some wrinkles or air bubbles you can't really adjust it but you can kind of smooth it down It's very thin. It's thinner than water slide. So you don't want to pull on it because then you're going to end up with um, tears. I'm just going to kind of tap on any thing that I see it looks like air bubbles and they just kind of come out. Okay. So that's that. Any place that it's white, it's gonna glow in the dark. You know, to do to get stuff to glow in the dark, like your glow in the dark glitters and stuff, you have to what they call um, plastic on the right? You have to like charge it, so you put it under the light for a little bit, and then when you go, let me hold on. Let me turn off my lights here. You can get it to glow. You charge it underneath a, a light and then when you turn off the light it glows it's hard because there's another light on here but you see it's glowing so all the places that are white on this cup on the temporary tattoo are going to glow so what we're going to do now turn the light back on um i'm going to let this side dry because i don't want to risk wrinkling it or, or messing it up because it's very 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 thin and then after it's dry we're going to put the other side on. So I will um, be back after this is dry to put on the other side. Okay, it's dry. I put a little bit of parchment paper underneath it just in, just in case. And when I look at it, I can see where it's coming up on this side from the other tattoo. So when I go to put Oogie Boogie on, which is this other part, um, I have a good idea where I want to put him since he's going to... Um, He's gonna kind of like blend in. So I'm actually gonna start him at the very top and then um, just kind of blend him in. I'll blend this whole thing in at the end with alcohol ink. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wet paper towel, make sure it's nice and wet. I'm just gonna kind of put it on my cup, water on my cup. I have like random red glitter out of nowhere. Oh, that's my life. And I'm going to take Oogie Boogie, take the plastic off of this side. I leave the plastic on until right before I put them on. And line him up. Where I want him. It's a very very stressful thing trying to line these up. I also like to do these on modern curves versus the skinnies because you have more room width wise so they tend to lay a lot better. Like this is going to start to overlap so I'm actually going to I'm going to trim it really fast before it even gets down. I'm going to do this. 
I'm gonna trim off that pumpkin. So that. And then I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna trim it like this. with a 30 ounce. I haven't done this particular design on a 30 ounce before. So this side actually should line up really well. So I'm gonna leave the other side as it is. So maybe he wasn't just centered very well, which it's all right. Just kind of put it down. So gently, it's tearing because I cut it there. That's okay. Lift. It's going to smooth out whatever wrinkles you're seeing, any air bubbles you can hit with your fingers. Because it'll just pop right out. All right, so now it looks really rough, but that's okay. We're gonna let it dry. We're gonna put a coat of epoxy on it, and then we're gonna blend everything in with alcohol inks, and you'll see how it just kind of brings it all together and makes it look cohesive. So it's gonna dry for probably, I'm gonna let it dry completely like 12 hours, and then I'll put epoxy on it. All right, so our cup has two coats of epoxy on it, and um, now I'm going to use black alcohol ink. This is Let's Resin um, alcohol ink. There's Let's Resin pigment and Let's Resin alcohol ink. Um, the pigment does not work, the alcohol ink does. And for when I'm trying to blend on something like this, I will use a combo of 50% and 70% alcohol. The stronger the alcohol, um, the more diluted your alcohol ink gets. And then I just cut makeup sponges in half. I used to, um, use 91% for this and then I realized really quickly that I was um, making it too liquidy. So I will just go and start dabbing it on and um, kind of filling in where I want to blend. And then I'm going to take my 50 because I don't want um, too much um, dilution, diluting, like to dilute it too much. And then I'm just kind of dabbing off some of the excess on here because um, that 50 doesn't have like a drop type thing. But I'm going to just, I just want to blend it, but I don't want to dilute it. So that's why I'm using the 50. Can you see it softens it without diluting it? see it blends it and the reason I put epoxy on before I do this is because I don't want the alcohol to mess with the tattoo um, so it's just better to epoxy it I look at epoxying in between doing different things is almost like when you're like saving your work as you're doing it on the computer so I'm going to alcohol ink dries super fast so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it So 
So I'm gonna let that dry, and then after it dries, um, I will go ahead and put more epoxy on it, and then it's good to go.